Hi, I'm Kara with DoMyOwn.com. Today we're going to be discussing how to treat for pests in your attic. The most common attic pests are going to be insects such as stink bugs, cluster flies, silverfish, spiders, ants, and wasps that gain access from overhanging trees that may have contact with your home. Rodents, bats, squirrels, and raccoons are also a common problem. You may need professional assistance with trapping, removing, and cleanup as these pests can pose a health risk. When should you treat your attic for pests? Any time activity is noticed during inspection or any time throughout the year. Two things to keep in mind when treating for pests in your attic. You will not want to make any applications over the top of any attic insulation or do broadcast applications over the entire attic area. We do not recommend fogging in the attic as it typically is not necessary to eradicate pests. When treating for rodents in your attic, you're going to want to use rodent traps or glue boards we only recommend that you use bait stations outdoors around the exterior foundation of the home. Contact kill aerosols can be used when a knockdown is needed to treat for spiders, wasps, ants, and other insects in the attic. If treating for termites and carpenter ants in the attic, a termite foam can be used to treat active colonies. Carpenter ant baits can be used to treat for carpenter ant colonies as well. In coastal areas such as Texas and Florida, drywood termites can be an issue in attics. If you live in these areas, be sure to do frequent inspections to get ahead of the issue. Now let's talk about preventing pests in your attic. You're going to want to do proper inspections regularly like checking the roof and eaves of the home and make any repairs as needed. Trim back overhanging tree branches and overgrown bushes, vines, and shrubbery near the home that could allow pests to access the roof. Check for damage to screens, seals, and any places where sunlight may be coming in. Check insulation to ensure there are no holes. Rodents can shred this and actually affect air temperature in a home. Securing the chimney with a cap is also helpful. Make sure to clean and organize the attic regularly with plastic bins instead of cardboard. Checking the interior and exterior of the attic for gaps and openings is also helpful. If you do find these, seal them with silicone-based caulk, steel wool, or copper mesh. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel below for more DIY videos.